Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to talk about why I always have to be stressed about something. So, I signed up for this business seminar thing that I'm going to next week, right? Let's see, lately, I find myself registering for things that in the past I would have found way too cheesy to do, like, you know, business seminars and self-help things, right? I've, I've read lots of books over the years, but now I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to go to these things and pay for these things and everything and, and just trying to be open-minded about them. So, like next, like last year, I went to a Tony Robbins seminar in London for the first time, They Unleash the Power Within, which was actually really good. And I've been doing other courses and things, you know, since then. All right, so next week I'm going to this business seminar, right? Which is, which it is what it is, right? And hopefully I'll learn a few things, right? But I got a phone call from the salesperson yesterday asking a few follow-up questions after I registered. So it was the phone call, right? Oh, you registered for our seminar next week? I said, yeah, yeah. He said, I just want to ask a few questions for, first if you have a few minutes. So I thought, yeah, all right. And he said, what are your objectives for attending this seminar, right? Now, first of all, I always hate it when somebody asks me my objectives for things because it means I have to have a, like, I feel like I had to have a reason to do it. I just want to go check it out. I thought I'd go, you know, pop in. I'm sure you'll sell me something. I'm sure I'll, you know, I'll, I'll consider it. But I, I just want to see, learn something perhaps, right? But, you know, when somebody asks you your objectives, it reminds me when I used to start at, every time I'd start at a new gym, you know, moving around and everything, you go to the gym and the guy will always, you know, they'll give you the tour. You can't just sign up. They'll give you the tour and they'll say, what are your workout objectives? <laughs> I've, been asked this, I've been asked this so many times going to the gym. What are your workout objectives? Right? And I, I never know what to say. I always think, I, I guess just to lose a bit of weight. I, I don't know what to say. I feel like I should say, I, I want to run a four minute mile or something stupid like that. You know, <laughs> I want to, I want to run the, the Ironman triathlon. No, I just do something about this. You know, don't ask me. I just, I just want to go to your gym. Is that okay? So it was the same thing with the business seminar. What are your objectives? And I thought, I thought about it. I thought, yeah, I guess I just want to learn a few things, you know, that kind of stuff. Not a very good answer. And then he said, uh, what is the biggest problem you have as a business at the moment? And I thought, I suppose right now it's prospecting, right? It's bringing in new clients. It's, it's, that's kind of always a problem. You know, like a month ago, it was finding new people to come, finding new developers, bringing new people in, right? But at the moment, I, and even then I felt bad about saying prospecting because actually everything's going pretty good at the moment. Everything is balanced. Everything is level, right? It seems like it's always, I'm always stressed about something, right? It's always, you know, we have too much work and not enough people to do it. And a lot of times that per people to do it includes me. So we got too much work coming in, not enough time in the day. I'm all stressed out. I'm working late, everything like that. Or we have too many people and not enough work. So it seems like we're always, it's always going up and down and up and down. And I'm starting to think that that's just the standard in life. You know, you're always, if you're growing, you're going to be stressed about something. So maybe I should just stop taking everything so literally and stop thinking that it's easy for everybody else right so it just seems to be always the way it, <laughs> always the way it is like if if the apps aren't going well then i'm stressed about that if we we have too much work coming in i'm stressed about that if we don't have enough work co coming in but we got too many people i'm stressed if we're hiring somebody i'm stressed there's always something because we're always growing and growing means something's going to be out of balance and at the moment everything's balanced you know we we got enough enough clients for the amount of people that we have we got a little bit of money coming in everything is Everything is calm at the moment. And that's boring, right? So, because you're not growing. So, it's basically what I told the guy. I said, I, I think we bring in more prospects so then we can hire more people and then we can grow as a company. And he said, and why is it important to you to grow as a company? And I'm sure all of this stuff is part of his script and everything like that. So, yeah, which I, I accept, right? So, I started thinking about it. Why would you want to grow as a company? And I started thinking about it. Is it vanity? Is it whatever? And I said, I guess it's just, it would be nice to make something that's bigger than myself. It's, it would be nice to have something that it, it lasts longer than I do. Something to show that my time on earth has been worth something. The reality of the fact is that most companies don't last that long anyway, but I want to be, build something bigger than me. That's why 
that's why I'm doing it. If it was about the money, I could get a job in as a contractor do, you know, doing that, but money's not the prime motivator anymore. It was, like in my 20s, when I, you know, in your 20s when you're struggling and you're just trying to get enough, you know, with a young family and everything like that, money is a prime motivator. You know, you it just, if it pays enough, I'll do it. But as starting to get older, you start realizing that, you, you know, the, the year, you start getting a bit older in years, you start realizing the span of my life is shrinking and I need to make something count. And that's kind of the reason why I get up in the morning. It's the reason why I'm excited about doing things. That's one of the reasons why, despite the fact I hate being stressed, I always seem to be putting myself into stressful situations, right? I know today I'm kind of rambling on a little bit. I, you know, it, it seems, it was just sort of after I had that conversation and I hung up, I thought, you know what? I'm always stressed, but maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's always have to be stressed about something. Every, it's like climbing a ladder. We go one foot at a time. We go too many clients, too many people. Too many clients, too many people. And you know, and then we just we just grow from there. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Especially if you've been running your own business for a while, do you have these same kind of problems too? Or you know, or, you know, or like some of you guys say, you know, I should just stop doing the client work altogether because it is very stressful and just go back to passive income with the apps and everything like that too. So anyway, those are my thoughts for today. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.